Hello, this is City Manager Mark Washington. And I'm here at the Art Prize Clubhouse at 2 Fulton, along with the Executive Director and the Creative Mastermind of Art Prize 2.0, Catlin Whittington. Welcome. Hey, Mark. How are you? Good. Thanks for being here. I know it's been quite a journey. You've uh, relocated here from Austin to uh, take this job and previously was working in Austin at South by Southwest and also at the Palmer Event Center. And so we're very happy to have you here and you've hit the ground running. So tell us what's happening with our prize. Our prize is in full swing. We launched last Thursday with a great round of fireworks, a lot of uh, amazing art in the streets. We have over 950 artists, 700 works of art and 150 venues around town. Uh, I will say that this uh, first few days of Art Prize, this first week of Art Prize has just been a rousing success. I've, the streets are busy, everybody I talk to, the energy is great, and it's really exciting to see it all come to life. From your perspective, um, I mean, for, for obviously there's an economic impact of Art Prize. Sure. Uh, tell us a little bit about economically the visitors and what the, at least last year's numbers and how we expect to sure. exceed that this year. Well, last year's numbers, they estimated about 740,000 people through wow. the doors over the 18 days and an economic impact of about $34 million, mm -hmm. uh, 34 and a half million to be more specific. I think we're on par. All of the restaurants that I've talked to, the businesses that I've talked to, they are all reporting great numbers from this first weekend. Our voting numbers are way up over last year's. Um, just in the first few days, we had achieved two thirds of the, all the total number of votes from last year. People are really engaged with the art. You know, the economic impact is, is one side of it. And the cultural impact, there's, there's a certain level of cultural authenticity that has to be achieved in order to realize this type of economic impact. And I think we're doing a great job this year. Uh, I can't speak highly enough about my team and the team that's supporting and the Art Prize team that's helped create this vision. So yeah, it is uh, by far the world's largest public outdoor art exhibit. Um, and it's one that transforms our entire community and it certainly couldn't be possible without you and your team and so we're just really happy to have you. Can you let our viewers know how to engage digitally sure. uh, and find out information about our prize and how to get engaged? Artprize.org you can find uh, dynamic maps where you can navigate through the downtown core and go explore the venues you can navigate through all of the uh, all of the work that's presented here, all the artists, and you can also vote online. If you've already come downtown and cast your first vote, you can continue to vote from the comfort of your own home. But please don't come down, come see the art. <laughs> that's what it's here for. Yeah, come engage with the artists, come engage with the downtown over the next few weeks. We've got so many events all listed on our website. I think this year we've had over sixty events. Uh, that are official Art Prize events and so many more that are going on in parallel to Art Prize. It's, a, it's an amazing thing. So. Well, Catlin, thanks again for your leadership and uh, happy Art Prize. Mark, thanks for having me out here. I'm glad to be here. Okay, we're here in the front of the City County Administration building on the Monroe level, and the building is iconically known for the Lagrand Vitesse that's on the call to Plaza. But in the spirit of Art Prize, we wanted to do something additional to celebrate Art Prize <laughs> feature uh, some of the artists that are here in the city of Grand Rapids in our workforce. And our mission is to elevate the quality of life through excellent city services and through six core values of accountability, collaboration, customer service, equity, innovation, and sustainability. And I have here with me Michael Moore, one of our city employees, who wanted to help us make our mission and values more than words and use art to articulate uh, that vision. And so Michael, thanks for being here. Tell us a little bit about the inspiration for the art and what inspired you to use the art to further elaborate on our mission and values. Well, I've done uh, other values posters in the past. I've been here 16 years. Uh, we wanted something different this time, really concerning with the top five things I could think of, you know, what is Grand Rapids known for? And uh, I really wanted to showcase also city services and the city employees so kind of what you see here is an amalgam of that. Well, let's talk about those five things. And so I see the uh, beer for Beer City, right? Correct. And the next stream, what is that? Well, that's Furniture City, followed by the river in the middle, 
the arts and medical mile or, you know, essentially what we're known for in, in medical industry. Medical industry and you have all of that illuminating yeah. from the yeah. calder. They're actually uh, facing inwards. They're going into the calder. Going so into the it's calder. It's pouring into the calder and I, and I picture the, uh, the city workers as guardians of the of all nice, those values. Nice. Core services that are being offered to further elevate the quality of life and all of those add. And I see you have both imagery of downtown, but also uh, the neighborhoods. And tell me more about the, the kind of city workers that you have there. Well, I wanted one of everything. Somebody who worked in the field, the office, lawyers. There might be an engineer in there. You know, maybe one artist. I don't, I'm not sure. <laughs> An artist. Well, well, Michael, thank you for your work and what you uh, do day in, day out, and for helping us uh, be a small part of what's happening around our city and allowing this to be yet another canvas in which art is displayed for the community. You're welcome. During the last city commission meeting, the city commission received an update from staff on our strategic priorities, and they heard updates on public safety, on economic development, on our environment and other areas of uh, important city services you can go online and look at the update in its entirety uh, the city commission also held a hearing a brownfield hearing on one of the largest brownfield projects that we've had in some time it's a transformational brownfield project uh, for factory yards it's going to be on the west side on godfrey and there will be over 467 housing units it'll be mixed use uh, development. 20% uh, of those housing units will be income restricted and it will be a very, very uh, impactful project that will add to the quality of life as well as address some of our housing supply needs. City Commission also uh, approved the receipt of over six million dollars for uh, funding from HUD for lead paint hazard reduction uh, within our community and um, also had an opportunity to uh, discuss some of the other areas that are um, around housing development. Uh, our community development department gave an update annual report on some of the things that have been accomplished over the past year and the public was allowed to comment on it. So lots of things happening in our city. I uh, want to invite you to participate in Art Prize, amazing time in our community. This week is uh, Tech Week. Malcolm Gladwell was in the city earlier this week and uh, Demo Day by Start Garden 100. There'll be 100 entrepreneurs competing to get various prizes and startup fundings. Uh, f quite a few of them will get up to $20,000 for startup funding for the projects. So lots of things happening in Grand Rapids. Come out and enjoy it. We'll see you next month.